Welcome back to my channel and today we're looking at the Marksman Professional Marking Tool and it's a very interesting tool, it's a tool that I've always wanted to review and kind of give people a sense of how the tool works if it's something that you would like to have in your tool um, box, tool bag um, because you know very often when you have to mark something you generally have to use a pencil um, particularly if you have to hang something on a wall and you need to you know pass a marking tool into a hole you generally use a pencil or some marking tool and if you have to change the location that mark is, is almost permanent you have to rub it off or. but this tool gives you a very good option of marking something um, and being able to remove the mark if you make a mistake or you know wiping it off and starting again so let's take a closer look at some of the little features it has so there's a little slot right to the side here and this little part this little plastic part it actually depresses once you push it against the material it depresses and the the paint sprays out it's really nozzle but it has but when you twist it the other way it deactivates so once you push the nozzle it will actually push against the plastic housing and it won't activate um so that is a way that you, you keep it stored so that it, and it won't dry out and the thing is you have to the hole has to be smaller than the actual um, hole of the material you're going to um, create the marking in so what i want to do is take it out and demonstrate how it works in this field so here i'm going to hang a towel rack and a little tip when you're installing toy racks or anything on tile you want to put it on the grout line so that you don't crack the tile when you're drilling through it so now I'm going to depress the nozzle against the opening and it will leave a tiny little green mark. So anything about this too, you can wipe out the mark if it's not the right place, easier than a pencil mark. Um, it's kind of hard to see but you can see where I'm pointing at the green mark here on the grout line on the mark here. This next demonstration I'm going to do here solely to prove that you couldn't go beyond the 50 millimeter recommendation or two inch recommendation because I was four inches away from the cardboard box and and this is how it went and I went ah and that thing worked so perfectly and now I have a piece of dress two by four which is actually inch and a half or twelve millimeters and same thing you have a, a pre-drill hole and it's actually difficult for you to you know, put a pencil through that pre-drill hole, but this tool makes it easy. Again, I push it, spray, and that's it. Works perfect. So yeah, that that was that was the the actual um, clip of it, me be, of me using it. And I I remember when I saw um, this being pitched in the dragons. Then this is the marksman. He simply. Hold the bracket where you want to. You simply push it in the hole and it will spray a burst of green chalk showing you where to drill. <laughs> and I uh, see this this looks like a, this looks like a really interesting tool and I I wanted to see how it really performs in the real world because it, I hadn't seen anybody use it. So when I ordered it and I um, had to install a toilet and I said this is the perfect opportunity to use this tool. Um, it was a, a, a P-trap, so we had to mark out the two holes and this thing works perfectly. One thing I will say though, if the flow is wet, um, it won't work because it will actually be, the paint will actually go on the water and obviously we know how that goes. So the area have to be dry. So you want to dry the area first and then use the tool. Um, that's not so much of an issue, but once the area is wet, it won't work. Um, but I, I, I love this tool. I think it's very handy. And particularly if you're an installer, if you're installing a lot of toilets, if you have to install shelving, um, cabinets, and you want to mark the hole, this works perfectly. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, and I think it's available on Amazon. Because I, I, to be honest, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I had to import this because it's produced in the UK. Um, 
so if you're interested in this product i'll put the link in the description so you can access it so thanks um again for watching and i just want to say thanks take the time to say thank you to all who subscribed um because my, my channel has grown exponentially in a very short space of time so i'm trying to you know produce more content um so stay tuned and stick with me because um you know for those who are new to for years you know producing videos and i didn't know that until i started producing videos it takes time to produce videos it takes a lot of time and you have to kind of get familiar with editing and all of that and comments yeah so again thank you and hope you enjoy this review and see you on the next one